Meghan Markle is an absolute style icon. Even her royal sister-in-law thinks so. Kate Middleton has taken a lot of fashion inspiration from the Duchess of Sussex over the years. Sometimes, it even looks like the two fashion-forward in-laws are sharing a wardrobe. Did you know that the royal women have to follow some pretty strict fashion rules? The Queen prefers more modest clothing, and Kate and Meghan are both expected to wear dresses that are knee-length or longer, be careful about how much skin they show, and even wear only light-colored nail polish. But this doesn't mean that the duchesses don't take a risk every once in a while, and they probably inspire each other to do so. Number 1. Camel Coat on January 22nd, Kate Middleton was spotted wearing a camel-colored double-breasted coat from Massimo Duty during her visit to the Ellie and Cairo Children's Center in Cardiff, Wales. This comes only two weeks after Meghan Markle was spotted in a Stella McCartney double-breasted camel wool coat during her and Prince Harry's first Canadian appearance in 2020, just days before the announcement that the pair would be stepping back from royal life and moving to Canada part-time. Kate and Meghan styled their looks in a similar fashion, with simple monocolored clothing under the coats and their hair loose and wavy. The royals even both donned turtlenecks to pull the look together. Number 2. Scotland Visit the royal women sometimes try to incorporate the places they're visiting into their wardrobe. In January of 2019, Kate Middleton and Prince William arrived in Scotland for the opening of Dundee's new Victoria and Albert Museum. The Duchess of Cambridge wore a tartan plaid coat dressed by Alexander McQueen to add some Scottish flair to her style. Meghan Markle wore a very similar outfit also while well in Scotland back in February 2018, opting for a long double-breasted coat by Burberry. Kate accessorized her look with a forest green handbag by Manu Atelier, while Meghan styled her look with a Wolford turtleneck, Veronica Beard wide leg pants, heels, and a similarly green Strathbury crossbody bag. This wasn't the first time that Kate sported the dress. She was spotted wearing it in both 2012 and 2013, but bringing it out in honor of Scotland might have been inspired by her sister-in-law's earlier tribute to the tartan plaid. Number 3. Caped Dress in February of 2019, during a visit to Northern Ireland, Kate wore a 1,735-pound cornflower blue Ashley coat from Mulberry's Autumn Winter 2018 collection. It features classic trench details, a nipped-in waist, and a flared skirt. Kate opted to wear a blue Jenny Packham dress underneath. The caped look is similar to a style favored by Meghan, who has worn caped ensembles on numerous occasions. In June 2018, she wore a caped cream-colored Givenchy number on a visit to Cheshire during her first official outing with the Queen. Meghan also wore a royal blue caped Stella McCartney dress in 2018 at a concert in London's Royal Albert Hall to celebrate the Queen's 92nd birthday. Number 4. Sporty in Black Kate ditched her signature blue jeans for black skinnies and a polo for a round on the tennis court in Essex in October of 2018. Her and Prince William were at the Basildon Sporting Village to visit Coach Core Essex. The Duchess styled the look with a check blazer, a black turtleneck jumper, and Russell and Broomley boots. Earlier, on September 24th, Meghan wore a similar dark ensemble to a sports demonstration in Lowberg at the Coach Core Awards. The Duchess of Sussex sported stiletto heels along with a navy asymmetrical jacket by Oscar Del Torrente and Pants by Altazara. Both royals opted for loose hair and simple makeup, and while the outfits didn't scream sporty, both ladies found themselves picking up sporting equipment and hopping on the court to play along with participants. Number 5. Blazer In December of 2018, during a Christmas trip to Cyprus with husband Prince William, Kate opted to wear belted wide leg trousers along with an olive green blazer by Smith, fittingly called the Duchess Wool Blazer. She accessorized the look with a matching green LK Bennett clutch and a pair of heels. Kate's known for choosing dresses more often than blazers or slacks, but she's actually a pretty big fan of this piece. She previously wore a navy version of it back in 2011 while departing for her tour of Canada, and the same green version to the London Olympics in 2012 and to the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Choosing to bring out a blazer again in 2018 may have been inspired by Meghan, who prefers slacks and blazers to the traditional dresses preferred by the Queen. One such example is the beautiful Altazura Acacia black blazer she sported on September 4th, 2018, with a matching pair of black Altazura serge bootcut trousers. Number 6. Cold Shoulder A little modest shoulder reveal never hurt anyone, right? The royal lady sure seemed to agree. 
In October of 2018, Kate wore an Erdem dress to London with an asymmetrical neckline that pulled off the shoulder during a visit to the Victoria and Albert Museum. She styled the look with some flashy finishes, including a red sash, velvet heels, and chandelier earrings. The shoulders were even adorned with brooches to add an extra touch of glamour. Megan is a big fan of the Bardo neckline. In January of 2018, she wore a gray check number during a visit to Cardiff Castle with Prince Harry. Megan showed off a wool theory jacket that put her shoulders on display. The look was more simplistic than Kate's glamorous look, but the tweed check design with a bare shoulder suggests that the Duchess of Cambridge was inspired by Meghan's choice to show a little skin. Number 7. Bright Red Dress Who says that being royal means you have to be subtle? Both Kate and Meghan have showed a passion for color in the past. In fact, in the same year, they both had everyone seeing red. In September of 2016, during a tour of Canada, the Duchess of Cambridge wore a bright red number while in Victoria, BC. The scarlet preen gown was styled with a red clutch and red heels as well as an interesting brooch and flashy earrings to add a little bling to that look. Kate subdued the look a little with a classy, more modest updo. Earlier in the year, in July of 2016, Meghan Markle wore a pretty similar Jill Stewart gown at the Today Show. She opted for nude heels, a black bag, and her hair down, making the look more casual than Kate's version. But there's no denying the similarity between the color and length of the gorgeous gowns. Number 8. All Lace Look while this list has been filled with similarities so far, there has actually been one instance of Duchess Kate and Meghan wearing the exact same dress. The Diane von Futensberg Zarita dress has been worn a few times by Kate, most recently in November of 2017 at the Kensington Palace Gala. She also wore the dress back in November of 2014 when her and Prince William attended a variety show performance. Just two years prior, in 2012, before the royal fever struck the actress, Markle wore a shorter navy blue version of the dress in an event for US a network. Megan's version showed a lot of leg, typical of many of her pre-royal outfits, and was styled with a pair of nude heels. Megan kept her hair loose and wavy, while Kate chose to go with a stylish updo and black clutch. Number 9. Main Attraction Hair and clothing go hand in hand. How could these stylish royal women be expected to pull a look together without paying attention to their due? Kate likes updos, but she isn't known for rocking a simple ponytail that often. Instead, a classy bun or wavy loose hair seems to be her go-to. But in November of 2018, Kate broke with convention by sporting a wavy ponytail during a visit to the UCL in London. She paired the pony with a classic red outfit complete with a burgundy blazer. Meghan, however, is a huge fan of the ponytail. During her Australian tour in October of 2018, just one month before Kate rocked her ponytail, the Duchess of Sussex opted for a straight ponytail clasped at the back of her neck and a classic blazer over a white button-up. Whether Kate was trying something new or enjoy sporting a ponytail away from the cameras, she certainly knew how to turn it into a royal-worthy look. Maybe she decided to take a risk after seeing how effortless her sister-in-law looks rocking a similar style. Number 10. Sheer Neckline Sheer and Royal don't usually go in the same sentence. Showing too much skin is frowned upon by the Queen, so wearing a see-through gown would spell disaster for the Duchess. But both Kate and Meghan have been known to wear illusion bodice dresses that show a little skin while also being incredibly discreet and remaining as classy as can be. In 2016, the Duchess of Cambridge wore a beautiful blue Solani London high-neck maxi dress to a Kensington Palace reception just before she was set to leave on a trip to India with Prince William. The transparent cut-out look was paired with matching blue heels, and Kate wore her hair down and wavy. Meghan Markle pulled off a similar look in a high-neck burgundy number back in 2014 when she attended an Isabella Blow Foundation party in Toronto. Even the areas where the dress is the most sheer seem to match the dress that Kate later wore. Meghan also wore her hair down and had a simple yet flashy golden clutch to spice up the look. Whether the royal women talk about their fashion choices with one another is unknown, but there's no doubt that Kate is inspired by the Duchess of Sussex to take some more creative fashion risks, whether it's showing a little more skin, expressing herself with a pop of color, or breaking away from more traditional outfits and hairstyles to spice up her royal outings. Now that Meghan Markle has officially split from royal life with the Queen's blessing and is making a life for herself, her husband Prince Harry and baby Archie in Canada, we can expect some very different fashion choices from the Duchess. She has even had her entire pre-royal wardrobes shipped from Toronto to her rental home in Victoria, BC, 
So we can probably expect her to wear some more interesting Canadian fashion designers in the near future. Will her wardrobe be drastically different in Canada than in the UK? Perhaps Kate will have to be more careful about taking inspiration from her sister-in-law now that Meghan has fewer royal fashion rules to follow. But only time will tell. Do you think that Kate Middleton takes inspiration directly from Meghan Markle's wardrobe? And what changes are you looking forward to seeing now that Meghan is split from royal life? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Taco for more.